political system. I don't have to speak much about that. What political system we have? Instability, dichotomy, dilemma, ambivalence, confusion, lies, deception, subterfuging, bamboozling, deceiving. All these kinds of adjectives, we can put them. Every person lies, lies, lies. No shame on their faces. This is what you play with people. How can you play with people? What happened to you? You don't have any heart. How can you don't feel any empathy or sympathy towards the fellow man or your brother? Prophet ﷺ says that all ummah is one body. If one part is like in pain, you must feel the pain. But here, forget about the pain. All the political system has been corrupt. Now which part you gonna straight jacket? Incorrigible. La islah. Everyone comes and makes promises that do nothing. You can't do anything. Why don't you understand? Because you broke the vada, the covenant, the oath you took while you made the genesis of Pakistan, the introduction or the identity. You broke it. Allah is giving you destruction from everywhere. Can't you see that? The rain is not happening on the right time. All the rulers are sitting on your head by force. What else punishment you need? Do you want really, literally, that Allah opens the uh, earth or falls some comets from the sky? Is that what you are waiting for? What are we waiting for? Ideology, the concept is full of enslavement. Mental enslave. Karte hain ghulamo ko ghulami pe raza mand. Aur taweele masail ko banate hain bahana. They are themselves are slaves. And then they persuade other people to become slaves. Why? And at the end they said that no, because the time and the circumstances are like this. We are weak. We are weak, so you know, that's why we have to be slaves. I say shame on you. A Muslim cannot be a slave to any other system, any other man, any other woman. A man, a Muslim person cannot, because once he says, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, that there is no God and deity except Allah. And Prophet Muhammad is the last final messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It means that your tawakkal, your life and the death, which is also in Surah Al-An'am, chapter 6, 1162, that wa 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 lillahi rabbil alameen. When you already say that these lives and my efforts, my everything is for Allah, then why are you afraid? How can you be afraid of any nation? What is the last point of you? Death, right? What else you gonna do? This is the final point of every person, death. And Muslims, that is our faith. Everyone has to die. But we cannot live like the hyenas. We cannot live like donkeys. Can't you understand this point? We are Muslims. And this, is, should, this should be inculcated in us, the bravery. The boldness. We should not be afraid of anyone because when you say we are Muslim, it means that all my life and everything in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Death will come when the time will come. Death will not come. And this is also the message from Khalid ibn Walid when he was dying on his bed, uh, the deathbed, bedridden. He said that to tell to the people that if the death was to come, then Khalid ibn Walid was dead long away. Because he fought many great battles and he urged for, uh, you know, getting martyred in the way of Allah. But Allah, is, uh, you know, didn't want that. And when he was dying and he gave message to the cowards that don't get afraid. If death was something to, to catch you, then Khalid ibn Walid would have died long ago. Uh, he's alive with all bruises and he said that there's not a single part in my body where there is no bruise of fighting then why are we afraid what's the matter with us it's mental enslavement mental enslavement is the worst 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 kind of comfort zone every one of us has developed a comfort zone in pakistan People living in the area, they said that, okay, we are picture perfect. We don't need any kind of reformation. We don't need any kind of correction. We don't need any straight jacketing. So now he has his comfort zone. 
he has is made his own way of criterion to go to paradise tazkiya e nafs is on he thinks that these are my aqeeda these are my doctrine these are my dogmas i have to do this these these things and this is enough my rites and rituals are enough i don't care people die or people are alive what happening in palestine i don't give don't care what's happening in burma i don't care what's happening in syria i don't care what's happening on and on i have my own comfort zone i am going to jannah you know there is a hadith of prophet hadith qudsi jibril alaihi salam came to prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and said allah commanded me to jibril go to one of the cities and destroy that city upside down and then i said jibril is quoting then i said to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ya allah there is one abd there is one slave of yours who is not leaving you into seclusion even the blink of an eye tarfatul ain he is not leaving you and he is doing worshiping i said who is which saint or sufi is right now alive who is not leaving allah into seclusion for the blink of an eye do you have any candidate no what allah says allah says jibril throw that city on his face first then kill others why because this guy is doing worshiping and he does not care what's happening around him surrounding around his environment this is it you think your rites and rituals will save you no rites and rituals along the methodology of prophet sallam that you have to live for others don't be animals then you are being you know salvaged otherwise you are have your own tazkiyah nafs implementation of khilafa this is islamic socio political economic system you call it khilafa whatever you want to change the name it's up to you but the system was that everything is going through the methodology of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam or sunna or hadith or quran this is the principle you want to change the name into put democracy you want to change it to kingdom whatsoever as long as it is the effect of khilafa meaning you are representative of god you are viceroy of god acceptable this is what islam is but now look at us what we are doing we have laws but we don't follow it this is our own tasqiya nafs political points are already set to you as long as we are following the western democracy to make those west people happy and we do not have a concept of free people our free foreign policy our free freedom in our ideologies in our way of life in our behavior we have no salvation we have no success keep wasting time allah knows in your heart that you are a weak person you are you are a, you are a lion who is likes to eat grass better hai sher ko sikha do rame ahu it is better to teach a lion a flight like a deer so baki na rahe sher ki sheri ka fasana so the great legacy lions must forget that they used to eat with canines meat they are predators no make them predator but appetite must be grass this is what we have become